What is up, you guys? I'm already crying. Ah, I'm already crying. So college has gone from looking a lot like this. And now it looks a lot like this. I also have a podcast. Stream becoming an influencer on Apple or Spotify. I'm recording this in 2020, which is when we are all in the middle of a pandemic and classes are online. And so I asked you guys what you wanted to see and the votes were in for advice to freshmen for online school. I cannot even imagine starting school with it being online, especially college. Like I know they always tell you, you know, freshman year is so fun, whatever. Making money like a man. Laying in my eyes like shrimp, like shrimp, like shrimp. Make condition that I'm I think now you have opportunity for any of your other years to be so fun. Figured as a senior and a college student during online school, I could give you guys some advice that I would want to hear if I was a freshman during 2020. It's actually really funny because I recorded a video like eight years ago now um advice to freshmen for high school and honestly i cannot even believe i was beyond my years and calling out the bullies like that these are high school f***ing bullies but i thought about bringing some college gear right i was like oh i can bring my ut blanket for this video or wear my ut sweatshirt but um no not at all no matter what school you are going to right now, here is some tips for freshmen. My first tip is to actually go to class. I know this is pretty rhetorical and if you're a freshman, you're probably more apt to go to classes because this is your first time ever being in college, which is great. You should keep that structure, especially because this is a time for everyone. Like we can kind of get away with doing less, if that makes sense, because it's not in person, right? So we're kind of like, oh, we can log into Zoom but not actually print, like mentally be there. Or we can just not log into Zoom because it's over Zoom. My advice would be to try to make this as much of a real school experience as possible. Kind of like how we are doing at home if we're not freshmen. Also engage in your classes. So I know, I know it's easy to have the camera off, to stay on mute the entire class. There are so many days that I do that. However, I also know that I have to make it a point in order to connect with my professors or else like we're gonna go the rest of our life with not ever actually having that human connection because we're not in person. So if I don't talk in class, like I know that they're not going to really see me as the student that I am when I'm in person. And then on top of that, like, going to their office hours if I need to, or just to introduce myself or to kind of keep them feeling like they're actually a teacher in this time too, because it's equally as hard right now. And I think that's so important for everyone to understand that like, can you imagine being a teacher at this point? Like if you're a student, you're kind of paying for it. And if you don't do it, that's on you and that's your education you're compromising but for a professor like they can't not show up they can't not make assignments they can't not grade assignments they can't just turn their camera off or else there's no school so really just trying to interact with your professor and so many professors are badass like I've had so many amazing professors between Texas Tech and the University of Texas at Austin that are just awesome professionals or people that you are privileged to have the opportunity to work with or even be introduced to so really take advantage of that because you also don't realize how like connections are everything like your net work equals your net worth because it's all about who you know especially when it comes to getting a job and so write that one down okay okay the next one i would say is to actually do your schoolwork and so i know that's kind of rhetorical but again you guys it's so easy to cheat right now i'm not saying okay whoa whoa chill okay i'm not saying i cheat but i'm saying you're not in person, you know what I mean? And also it's very easy to half-ass everything because you're not in person. And so there's really nothing like, there's no guilt when you know you don't turn in an essay but you show up to class and you're like, oh my God, she knows I didn't turn in my essay. There's none of that because there's a computer screen that's the barrier. But 
if you actually do your schoolwork, like you are getting what you're paying for, right? Like you get out of it what you put in. So if you're just like skipping class or if you're cheating on your quizzes, your online quizzes, or you're not doing your essays, you guys, like this is what you're paying for. Like this is what you're here for. So why not try? Why not see how good you actually are? Like another thing is, Oh, I could have gotten A if I would have studied. Then why didn't you study? Like, when people say that to me, I'm just like, <laughs> okay, like, then why didn't you study? What, like, it's hard? Take that. Your little stinkers trying to get away with it. Just kidding. I know there's definitely times when I'm just like, peace out. I'd rather not. But I push myself and I know that this is really my last chance like for me I'm a senior so whatever I don't try this year I will have to live with the rest of my life knowing that I didn't try but if I do try I can move on and appreciate college for what it was and that's how I want you to feel with your freshman year of college because also when you're in person so many people like party so hard that they fail out of classes and then they either hold a horrible GPA for the rest of their college career or they fail out of college and then they get kicked out so like choose your poison right but you could avoid that by by actually trying and then you don't have to hate yourself for having a bad GPA your freshman year because that's what everyone usually is working the rest of their college career to fix is to make up for their freshman year so you have an advantage by being more self-disciplined my next advice is to make friends with your classmates. I, I know, okay, that is so hard. It's all virtual, like what are you talking about? However, I'm in classes right now where we still figure out how to make a group message. So like we'll use GroupMe or Slack and then that way we can keep up with each other like when there's a new assignment or if we need help studying or just chatter about the class. So I highly suggest you getting a group message going for your class and it's just so helpful and then on top of that if you want to go the extra mile you can make friends so actually my Spanish class this semester is so nice and like our group message is just so supportive and fun and we all like followed each other on Instagram and we're like hyping each other up on Instagram I don't know it was like a true online college like dream experience so you guys I highly suggest like trying to make community out of everyone even though we're all in our own homes and yeah and i know i know it's so weird right like having to talk to people in person is already hard enough but having to reach out to people virtually like girl i'm good with my two friends right i ain't ever seen two pretty best friends but don't be that way because the college is once in a lifetime guys so yeah and especially if you're a freshman like a lot of people form their friend groups their freshman year so try try to reach out broaden your horizons for your sophomore year It'll be a great time and also remember that everyone is just as nervous confused stressed overwhelmed as you obviously there are some of us that are a little extra stressed but <laughs> overall like you're all in the same boat so that nervousness of reaching out to each other or whatever is equal for everyone next i highly suggest you get used to using your school email this might be like you already know but my school email when it comes to emailing professors or getting updates on scholarships or resources throughout the school is so vital on my use of my school email and like if i forget to check my school email for too long i sometimes can miss like professors emailing me or all the things I just said so get used to using your school email and also try to email your professors through your school email because that way it doesn't go to their junk box because I think like a lot of emails are just kind of set up to like not directly get emails that aren't from their organization sometimes so keep a lookout for that my next advice would be to take notes like especially in classes you need notes for I think that's kind of rhetorical but I think just kind of structuring yourself to feel like this is a real college experience like you know take notes on your laptop or your ipad or an actual journal for notes you know what i'm saying notebook that's what it's called <laughs> actually like have that moment like have, have that school library moment in your living room and i i know that that probably is hard to like having to have your campus be your home like i don't want to discredit any of those hardships but Definitely like trying to make it feel like you're at a coffee shop or at the library or whatever 
can help so much like switching it up are you going between your room the kitchen outdoors the dining room whatever it is like spice it up for yourself and if some of you guys are on campus i suggest trying to like learn campus i know a lot of people that go to ut that are freshmen that live on dorm that live in the dorms right now and then also that live like in west campus so they can still kind of get that college feel by just being in the environment of west campus or whatever so if you have that luxury take advantage of it and use it as time to really just appreciate where you live the neighborhood and find cool spots on campus my next advice is to use the resources that you have so you pay for so much going to college than what you realize and while you're online like it is up to you to figure out how those resources transfer virtually so for me like i'm taking advantage of the fact that you get therapy through the school so that's something or you can research you can get reports like mintel reports through the schools and so there's so many different databases that they have access to as a student that you don't have access to as an adult so i would definitely take advantage of that or out in the real world as an adult guys we are adults okay so i would go to like the library's website and see what you have access to and if anything sparks your buttons <laughs> and then also for organizations like try to see what organizations are still taking or are still doing virtual meetings or have like group chats yeah so trying to find the different organizations on campus that you can be a part of but just to reiterate too like another advice would just be to try to take this as serious as possible and also use this time figuring out like what you're interested in since if you are a freshman like you can change your major as many times as you like i started out as marketing then went to finance then went to advertising here at UT so I am so much happier in advertising than I ever would have been in either of the other majors so just use this as time to figure out what you enjoy doing on top of that I would just suggest being highly organized since everything's kind of all over the place in our life the only way you can really feel like you have control is just over your own life and that's just yeah <laughs> sick i'm so good at talking like i'm really great okay wow <laughs> if you want advice on how to stay motivated or productive i do have a podcast coming out on productivity this last week which you can stream down below or i have a youtube video on how to stay motivated for classes that i filmed last semester when i was just transferring into online school i really hope that this advice was helpful and i hope you all have a safe and healthy holiday season and are enjoying your online school as much as you can remember to stay connected and also add your professors and classmates on linkedin because that will help you get connected in the professional world all right you guys now <laughs> I was like, I got a halo, halo. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it was helpful. Comment down below if you have any other questions. I will answer all of them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> so bright. Okay, bye.